Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a live chat option on your WordPress website using a free application. You can also add multiple agents and operators in the system and the live chats will be distributed among these operators automatically. So we are going to add a live chat option on the WordPress website. Let me show you an example. Here I'm on the WordPress website and I have created a live chat option on this website. In the bottom right hand corner, you will see the live chat option. Let me open it. If I click on it, it will ask me to enter the email address. So I'm going to add one dummy email address here and click on send conversation has been started you will see the status of the agent is currently online if your agent is not online it will show the status of the agent is offline and it will gather the information from the visitor and it is going to create a ticket when your agents are not online now let me go to the dashboard of the live chat system where i'm logged in as an agent and you will see one chat is there and this is the chat that we have started from here i can join the conversation and i can start communicating with the visitor so here i'm going to enter a message and click on reply so this is the message sent by the agent to the visitor now let's go back to the visitor and you will see the message has been received by the visitor so this is a live chat between the agent and the visitor now this is not only for the live chat option you can also create ticketing system or you can also add ai chatbot using this application now let me show you the application that i'm going to use the name of the platform is tdo accelerate your growth with ai customer service you can use live chat you can also use ai chatbot you can start with the free plan you will see different plans here free starter growth tdo plus and enterprise in the free plan, you can handle more than 50 conversations. You can have unlimited seats. You can create live chat and ticketing system. Ticketing is also available. Email management system, live video calls is also available. So there are some features which are not available for the free plan. There are some features available in the starter and growth plan. So I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to compare all the features available for the free as well as the paid plan, you can use my link in the description box to create a free account on this platform. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a free account and how you can add a live chat system on your WordPress website using the free application. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are going to create a live chat option for this WordPress website. This is a demo WordPress website. And for that, we are going to create an account on tdo.com. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to create a free account on tdo.com. So let's start with the creation of an account on this website, tdo.com. So here I'm on the website and we are going to create a free account. Here you will see an option, get started free. So click on it. It will give you an option to create a free account. For that, you need to enter the email address. So I'm going to add the email address here then add a password for your account so i have created a password and you can add your website for this example i'm going to copy the url of this website and i'm going to add that website here click on i agree to the terms and condition and click on get started for free now it is a small setup wizard first you need to add your name here so i'm going to add the name here a job role and for that i'm going to use this option i want to interact with customer via website live chat or you can also use a facebook messenger instagram messenger or whatsapp you can integrate whatsapp as well as facebook messenger with the tdo so here i have selected three different options click next my company's industry is let's say online store restaurant services so I'm going to use this option here, services. And my company's size is how many people are working with you. So I'm going to select this one. Or let's select this one, two to 50. My company gets this number of inquiries per month. And for that, I'm going to select this option. How was your website built? 
and this website is built in WordPress. So I'm going to select WordPress, click next. On the next, we have, I want to have Tirio up and running as soon as possible. I'm currently using, if you are using anything, you can select any one of these options. I'm going to select just getting started. Where did you learn about Tirio? And for that, I'm going to select Google. Have you used Tirio before? No, this is the first time using Tirio. Click start. Where would you like to begin? Enable AI support agent. You can configure help desk, offer live support. I'm going to select this option here, offer live support and click on let's go. All right, so it says your seven days full featured trial starts now. Click let's go. We are on the dashboard now. And here it says set up chat widget. We need to set up a chat widget. And for that, it says install Tidio on your website and simulate your first conversation. Now, there are two different ways to install the chat on your WordPress website. You can install the plugin, the Tidio plugin, or you can install a simple code on your WordPress website. So leave it as it is in the left hand panel. You will see these options. This is the dashboard. Below that we have inbox and for that we have live conversation, unassigned my open sold, then ticketing system, views, messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp. So all these options are available. In this video, we are going to work only on the live chat widget. Below that we have Lyro AI chatbot. If you want to create AI chatbot, you can set up the AI chatbot from here. We will cover that option in the next upcoming video. Then we have flows, you can create workflows. Then we have campaigns, you can run the campaigns. Then this is the customer, it will show all the customers here. Then analytics option is there. We will go through all these options one by one. First, we will install the chat widget on the website. So let's go to the website here and go to plugins. We are logged into the dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new plugin and search for Tidio. This is the plugin. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 100,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, in the left hand panel, you will see the option TDO chat. Click on it and it will ask you to create an account or you can log into the account. And we have already created an account, so we are going to log into the account. So click on login and enter the email address and the password that you have created. Click on login. Now it will go to the TDO page, select a project. We have our website here. So I'm going to select the website and integrate selected project. All right, so it says well done. You have successfully configured TDO live chat and flows for your website. All right, now open TDO panel. It will go to the TDO website. So it is going to redirect you to the TDO account again. Now we are on the website, let's refresh it. And in the bottom right hand corner, you will see the live chat widget option. So this is how it will look. Now we will customize this option. Okay, now let's go back to the TDO panel. We are on the live conversation option. Now we are going to customize this option. So let's close this option here. Go to settings. And under settings, you will see live chat. Under live chat, you will see appearance. So we are on the appearance and this is how it currently looks. If you want to change the colors, you can select the colors from here. So I'm going to select this option and you will see the change in the color. You can select any other option from here. So let's select this one. This is how it will look. So from here, you can customize the color settings. This is the welcome image. You will see the welcome image here. If you want to add your own logo, you can click on add own logo and select the logo for your chat widget. So I'm going to select operators collage here. Online status, it says we reply immediately. You will see it here, we reply immediately. Or you can also name it as currently online. And you will see it here. Below that, you will see widget position where you want to show the widget on the website. Currently, it is set to the bottom right hand corner. If you want to change it to a left hand corner, you can change it to a left hand corner. So I'm going to select a right hand corner. Then we have chat with us. You will see the option here. If I minimize this one, you will see this option here. Chat with us. You can change it. Let's say, how may I help you? All right. So this is how to look here. 
then enable widget sound you can enable the sound for the widget widget visibility display widget if you turn it off it is not going to show the widget on the website where do you want to show this widget both on the desktop as well as on the mobile device only on desktop devices only on mobile devices all right so i'm going to select both desktop and mobile display the chat when you are offline all right so that is also enabled even if you are offline it is going to show the chat option here and uh, let visitors create a ticket when you are offline when you are not online it is going to create a ticket instead of using a live chat and uh, this is the offline status we typically reply within a few minutes and this is the offline message we are currently unavailable we will get back to you when one of our operators is able to respond this is how it will look when you are not online it is going to show this message there and it will collect the email address and message from the visitor then we have get started hi there this is the first message will it will show here you will see it here hi there he, this is the hi again for the returning visitor welcome to our website ask anything this is the first message that will be shown to the customer mobile widget where do you want to show right or left pre chat survey please introduce yourself this is how it is going to ask the user to enter the email address if you want to add another field you can also add another fields for example name and you can also add phone number so it is going to collect the name phone number and email address from the customer you will see it here right if you do not want any one of these options you can delete that one so i'm going to collect name and the email address this is the routing rules for the department you can create departments and you can also add number of operators into the system it is going to route the live chat to different users or the operators automatically then we have multi language if you want to use multi language you can use that option so we have made some changes so i'm going to click on save uh, let's go to sidebar below that we have sidebar option enable sidebar you can enable sidebar you can create installation right now it is installed on the website so it shows the chat code is installed properly the chat page option is not for the free account you need to go for the paid account translations then we have name we are online we are offline these are the messages then we have help desk if you want to create a help desk you can create it facebook messenger instagram app and whatsapp we will go through these options later in the upcoming videos below that we have account this is your account information then we have notification it will show the notification new message new chat request incoming visitor it will show that also operating hours right now it is disabled so it will show online always you can set your operating hours from here right now it is set to 7:30 am to 5:15 pm you can change the timing from here you can simply slide on the bar and change the timing from here so i'm going to select 8 to 5 for all days right currently it shows off on saturday and sunday so from here you can change the working hours click on save then we have canned responses hello there what can i help you with let me check that for you real quick so these are the canned responses canned responses are answers to your most popular questions prepared in advance you can customize them also then we have workflow team under team we have operators from here you can create multiple operators you can also create different departments for example hr sales support technical something like that service level agreements so these are the agreements then we have campaigns so we are not going through all these options in this video so let's go to the live chat here i'll go to the website and let me open this website in another browser where i'm not logged in so i'm going to open this website in a private window and we will see how does this work on the actual website so this is the website and in the bottom right hand corner you will see this chat widget hi there if you need any assistance i am always here so this is the first message now i'm going to enter a message here and for that i have clicked on it and it shows the message hi there currently online and hi there if you need any assistant i am always here enter hi okay now it is asking me to please introduce yourself and i'm going to enter my email address here so i'm going to add some one dummy email address here and you will see an option sign up for newsletter click on send all right so now the chat has been started let's go to the tdo dashboard 
and you will see a message here if I go to this option inbox you will see one unassigned chat is created so this is what you will see it here this is the name of the user gym that we just created and now the agent or the operator can start with the live chat with this user so I'm going to click on join conversation I'm going to start with the conversation if I go to the website here you will see I'm going to chat with this user here all right so I'm going to enter the message how may I help you so this is the message from the operator let's go back to the visitors panel and you will see an instant message is there and let's I need help with roofing services with roofing services so this is a demo website for roofing services so I'm going to enter this message here and go to the TDO dashboard and you will see the message is there so this is how you or your operators can communicate with the visitors on your website. So this is a live chat that we have created using the TDO application. Below that we have my open. You will see this chat is still open. Then we have salt. If you want to mark this one as salt, you can mark this one as salt also. Let's go back my open chat. Let's click on it. Here you will see three dots are there. If you want to mark it as salt, you can simply click on market as salt reassign and delete if you want to delete you, you can delete that chat also if you want to upload files you will see an option to upload and you also have emoji picker then we have start a video call option a reply then canned responses you can select one of the canned responses from here and enter it reply simply click on reply and you will see that canned response is there then we have flows if you want to add this user to a workflow you can add that also all right so we are back to this one now let's go back to the user dashboard here you will see three dots rate this conversation option is available so the user can also rate this conversation if i click on it you will see that these options are available very bad then very good so i'm going to select this one and chat was good so this is the response enter it if i go back to dashboard here you will see that this option here the chat has been rated as very good and the chat has been commented chat was good so this is the response from the user right now let's mark this one as salt or you can also create a ticket so if you want to create a ticket you can create a ticket here you can add the subject of the ticket and send this information to the user also Assign it will be the operator or the user on your system, then the priority, TDO domain, and the customer email address. So, this is the customer's email address. Now, in the right hand panel, you will see the information about this chat user. This is the name, the location, the email address, the phone number. If, if we collect the phone number, it will show the phone number also. This is the Firefox browser which is used by the user last viewed page where this chat is coming from you will see that url also all right so i'm going to mark it as salt and let's go back to the users dashboard so after marking it as salt it is going to show the survey again okay so the user can select one of the options from here it will be marked as completed if i go to salt you will see this option here this chat is already solved and you will see the survey also all right so when you are not online it is going to show the offline message and the user will be able to create a ticket when you are not online so if you want to add a live chat option on your wordpress website tdo is going to be one of the best options you can start using free account if you like the tool you can upgrade to the paid plan if you want more features you can upgrade to the paid plan in the upcoming videos, I'll try to cover the other features of the TDO live chat application. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.